you never know uh, next month i'm be i might be like you know what uh, uh kind of you know gaming's not for me anymore and then just move on and go back to making you know family travel vlogs or something so this channel to me is all for me <laughs> i'm selfish anything that i put on this channel is because i want to put it not because i feel obligated to put it uh if i want to make a, a i love stadia video uh then i'm putting it because i want to put a i love stadia video if next month i want to put a i hate stadia video then i'm going to do that so that's why i remember you asked if you you know sometimes when you put up shows uh that are controversial i mean i think that's just human nature that we all want to talk about that so i don't want to see it as a negative uh negative thing it's just you have to expect those people that are very passionate about the thing that's controversial to come up you know fist raised and ready to rock you know what i mean i don't think anyone needs to fully move on from stadia because there may always be a game you already purchased on stadia but that you one day want to play again yeah especially because you don't have to pay for the uh for the console that's the best part about it <clears throat> I can cancel Stadia Pro right now and I'm still going to have 50 something games that I don't have to pay anybody to play them. I created a dedicated GFN YouTube channel yesterday, which is um, fed from you Twitch using an amazing dual stream, which I'll do a video on soon. That allows me to make my rock channel 100% Stadia. I'll bring that uh, back to how this channel is whatever I want it to be. So you're not supposed to split your audience, right? that's that's the theory behind successful youtube channels you're not supposed to like put keto videos and then all of a sudden put you know something completely different like gaming videos but i don't care <laughs> and the only reason i don't care is because i don't see this channel as it'd be nice if i can you know stop working and make money enough money from this channel but that's not my end goal my end goal is to just share whatever i'm excited about and if people like it, they like it. So I'm selling myself in this channel. I'm not selling Stadia. I'm not selling Keto. I'm not selling, you know, vacation travel. It's just the stuff that I, that I enjoy. And so I did start a Spanish channel. I almost, almost started doing Spanish streams on, on this channel. The only reason that I didn't is because I'm embarrassed when I stream in Spanish. And so I would pull some English speakers, obviously on this channel, uh, we got six people right now. And so that would that would have been too much. You see what I'm saying? Especially because my Spanish is kind of, I, I can speak it fluently, I can go to Mexico, I'm fine and everything. Uh, but when I'm trying to put content out, I'm a, it's a little trickier for me in Spanish. I think Ash jumped into my Spanish channel a couple of times and I, I, I kind of had to like focus because it, I struggle with it. Uh, with that being said, uh, it, I think it's it's good that you know you can separate your audience. Uh, but what happens uh, in, in my case, or like what happens when I get tired of just you know putting content out? Right now, my my channel on Twitch is uh, is dead because I didn't I, I didn't feel the motivation to do that, and I didn't want to force myself to do something I didn't want to do. If you're okay you know, streaming on Twitch and then chopping up the videos to put on your Twitch, I mean, on your GFN YouTube channel, that makes business sense. That's, I should do that, but I don't because I'm lazy. <laughs> I streamed on Twitch two years before I streamed on YouTube and I will say YouTube was much better for me, but I already had a YouTube channel, uh, but it was only for my vlogging. Yeah, I struggle with that too, Cowboy. That's the only reason I started my YouTube, my Twitch channel. I figured, okay, I can just do the gaming over there, and then I do the the vlogs on this channel, and then I'm like, oh, that's too much. You know, I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm always on the fence on it. I, I can go back to do that and you know justify it, or I can never do that and justify it just the same. I will say YouTube gives me more flexibility to do whatever on my channel on Twitch. I had uh, to primarily be a gaming channel. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if I agree with uh, because that the less chat. Just chat, just chatting is huge on Twitch, huge, massive. I've seen people on there do like, you know, 24 hour, you know, rap battles or some, some crazy. The problem that I have with Twitch is, uh, at least when I was doing it, I didn't know how to save my videos. I mean, I didn't know how to keep my videos from disappearing after 16 days. And that bothered me because with YouTube, a video that I uploaded 14 years ago is still making money. You know what I mean? especially once I got monetized. In fact, I was monetized in the beginning and then they changed the rules. I got demonetized and then I fought to get monetized again. 
And so some of those videos are still making money. My top video right now, it's a keto cheese tortilla recipe. And I think it pulled 30 something thousand views, which for me is huge. And you know, for a, for a bigger channel, maybe it's nothing, but yeah, that, that's my thing with YouTube. That's why I'm, I, I, I stick to YouTube because my videos are there, you know, until, you know, all the servers burn up at some point. <laughs> There's no way they can maintain this. It's impossible for they, them to maintain. What, what, does anybody know the statistics for YouTube? It's like 30 hours are uploaded every second. It, it's insane. There's no way that can last forever. Uh, so on YouTube, the pros say you're supposed to find out what's your most popular videos and then you're support to supposed to stick with that but for me i love uh, to do everything so i didn't want to limit myself exactly my biggest audience is the stated community and so my rocks channel is for them uh, it is uh, cleaner for me to use another vehicle to cover other platforms it doesn't bother me yeah so uh, if you wouldn't put in the work it's it makes sense that's what you're supposed to do on YouTube. That's what, you know, Mr. Beast has like 13 channels and they all have multiple millions of, of uh, subscribers because he doesn't want to alienate somebody who's only used to a certain type of content. That's what I'm supposed to do. I just don't, I just don't do it. And a very successful YouTuber yesterday and she had like seven or eight channels split across topics. All were successful. Yeah. Because you have another channel, right? You have that, uh, that so uh, calming sounds and you already hit a thousand in that one, right? And uh, it's, uh, what was it, like a year old or something? Yeah, deeply relaxing. Got 1,000 subs in like six weeks. Oh my God, six weeks. Jeez.